It's gonna be alright. Yeah, yeah. G'day there. As you can see, I'm here with a pot. A pot in three pieces. Now, it's quite a nice pot. The reason it's broken is that I was taking some cuttings off my yucca plant. And I decided to repot the mother plant. And as I was prying it out of the pot, it split into three pieces. So today's project is to put this pot back together and give it a new lease of life. Let's go. So first up, I'm just gonna give it a light wash. I'm going to use Gorilla Glue for this. Now I know that with Gorilla Glue, you need to lightly moisten one side of the surface that you're gonna join, and the other side is where you apply the glue. So I'm gonna wet one edge of this, keep the other edge dry, put the Gorilla Glue on the dry edge, and join them together. I'm going to start with the biggest piece, which is the base piece. It's got the base, base part on it there. Yeah, I've just got some water and a brush. This is very porous, of course, being clay, terracotta. So the water activates the Gorilla Glue. I take the top off my uh, nozzle. This is the dry edge. I'm applying the fresh Gorilla Glue too. All right. It's a bit easier when you do the dry run. That's all right. This is going to be the wet section here. This is our dry section. So this is the section that we put our Gorilla Glue on. Tip it up like that. a bit messy. You've just got to try and level it up as best you can. These are just elasticized straps, obviously. We call them mocky straps here in Australia. Maybe I could have used something a little bit flatter. No, that's all right. It's got a bit of pressure on it. They're both applying light pressure, plus it's upside down. So I think I've given it the best possible chance. One other tip you probably know, when you use Gorilla Glue, if you just put the top back on like that, air will be in the bottle. So the moisture in the air will activate the glue. So when you come to use it again, uh, you might find it, it's hardened up a little bit. So as they say on the packet, just give it a good squeeze. Keep that, uh, keep that pressure on it there, Mark. Right, it's right near the top. It's just popping out a little fraction. So that means that there's no air in it. And you put the top on like that. Now when you store Gorilla Glue, it's always gonna have that dent in it like that because you've squeezed the air out. So there's no air in there, which means... All right, so it's been overnight. In fact, it's been over two nights. I thought I'd just give it that extra night just to make sure. And, uh, and here it is. As you can see, the Gorilla Glue has expanded as it said it would on the packet. But right now, let's take off these Oki straps and see what sort of a job we've done of this. As you can see in there, a fair bit of uh, glue that's squeezed out of those cracks. That's all right, I knew it was gonna do that to some degree. But now I'm just gonna scrape off the excess and see what I've got left. All right, so I've just got a couple of, uh, couple of old blades here. Let's start at the top. Okay, turn him over. Now, I guess I spent about an hour chipping away that excess glue on there. I probably put a little bit too much on and I was probably just a little bit messy with it. 
but it was an hour well spent because I think it's come up great. In fact, the whole pot has turned out really well and I'm really pleased with it. Now, I'm gonna get a lot more use out of this pot, obviously. I don't have to go to the expense of buying another handmade terracotta garden pot. I fixed this one, and now it's become a little bit more handmade anyway. And uh, I love it, so I've saved myself a lot of money. I've had a lot of fun doing this project. Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.